This is lesson 10 of 20 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. You only need to watch this lesson if you experienced problems with the Joomla installation. If it was successful, then move on to lesson 11. If you had trouble with the installation, you might find these hints helpful. The main problem is caused by the fact that different web hosts have different setups. If Joomla is set up in ideal hosting conditions, then everything should work correctly. But if you run into trouble, it's often due to what's known as a permission problem. At the end of the installation process, a file named configuration.php needs to be written to your website. This process can fail at some hosts, and this will prevent the installation from completing. Also, you're likely to encounter problems in the future when you need to install an extension onto your site. In these cases, it is helpful to use the FTP layer feature that was skipped in the previous lesson. To use this feature, you need your FTP username and FTP password as provided by your web host. For the highest security, you can create an FTP account in your hosting control panel purely for this purpose. So if you know how to do that, then go ahead. Otherwise, start the web installer as demonstrated in the previous lesson and work your way through until you get to the page that asks you for the FTP details. Then set the first option to yes. For FTP username and FTP password, Enter the details provided by your host. The FTP root path is the tricky one, as this is the location in your web hosting account where your web files are stored. This is often something like public underscore HTML or HTTP docs, and this is usually given to you by your host when you open your account. Ask them for this if you don't know. You can ask Joomla to try and work this out automatically by clicking the Auto Find FTP Path button. If it returns a positive response, then you can, you can continue. If it doesn't work, you might have to modify the advanced settings. Click that heading and then verify that the settings are correct. For FTP host, you'll probably see the numbers 127.0.0.1, which is often correct, or simply the word localhost. Some hosts use a different setting. The FTP port is generally 21. For the stronger security, it's best to leave save FTP password set to no, but this means you'll have to enter these details each time you install an extension which is a pain, so you may wish to set it to yes. Once these settings have been entered correctly, continue with the installation and hopefully it will complete successfully. If not, or if you can't get the FTP layer working correctly, then try this next step. Before starting the web installer, create an empty file, upload it to the web server and change its permissions. Start by opening a plain text editor. It's best to use a very basic editor rather than a word processor, otherwise the file might not be created properly. For example, in Windows, you're best to use Notepad. Don't type anything, but save this empty file in the same directory where you previously extracted all your Joomla files. Name the file configuration dot PHP and if you have the option to change the file type make sure you select the most basic type in my case I'll change this to all files now upload that file to your web hosting account open your FTP software connect to your account and upload the file Lastly, you need to make this file writable. 
On the server side, right click the configuration.php file name and look for an option such as change permissions. In this case it's labelled file permissions. Select that and a new window will appear with a box somewhere displaying a number. Change the number to 777. Click OK and then go back to your web browser and work through the web installer. Now, Joomla purists hate this approach because assigning permission 777 to a file makes it insecure. But this is the easiest way I've found to get around these sorts of installation problems. It is safe to do this as long as you change it as soon as possible. So, when Joomla has been successfully installed, you must go back to your FTP software and then change the permission on this file again. The process is the same. Right click on configuration.php, choose file permissions, and this time change the number to 644. And click OK. Let me repeat, failing to do this is a major security risk, so do not ignore this step. These solutions fix the majority of installation problems. If you're still stuck, you might ask your host if they can install it for you. If not, then it's time you looked for a host that's more Joomla friendly. Once again, I recommend that you consider using one of the hosts listed on the resources page of our website. Hopefully you're up and running by now. In which case, move on to the next lesson, where I walk you through the front end of your website.